guys, me again. So it is quarter to twelve and I'm still in my gym jammies <laughs> and I don't care. Um, I've only been getting dressed to go out and if I don't have to go out, I've been staying in my pyjamas all day. Love it. So I'm feeling loads better. I've still got this cough, which is a big pain in the bum. Um, but apart from that, I'm okay. It hasn't lasted as long as the first time. So I'm hoping, you know, my body now is uh, building up enough immunity against it. Oh, and my dad's doing those better and my son is doing those better. He is just very emotional. Sorry, um, I've got an Asda order coming. Not for me, for my dad. He wanted some bits. Um, but I am really, really trying to be good. So I haven't bought anything. We might share the milk though. Because um, I got some, uh, my brother and sister-in-law bought me some milk when I was, um, when we couldn't leave the house. And um, we've been sharing that. So I've just bought um, my dad, well my dad's just got another four pints now. So we'll probably share that as well. Oh, that's my bagel. bagels that I got in the go puff bag so look what I just got in the post yay it's arrived thank you so much that has taken a long time to get here and I was starting to panic that it was never gonna arrive um, because a few people have said oh I sent you stuff and I haven't got it but that has taken about two months to get here. The roof tiles have been delivered this morning, yay! Um, my landlord has sent me money to cover the gas and electricity for last month, yay! I was really, really worried about that because, wow, what I spent last month is usually what I spend um, in one year on the heating before the price rise um, yeah and I really really was uh, panicking a little bit um, on how I was going to pay that off but yay that is sorted that's one less thing the only thing I need to sort out now is um, my wages so um, I worked all last month and I got my wages on the last day of term which was the 23rd and all I got paid was £80. So the accountant isn't back in the office till the 9th, I'm going to leave it until the 9th and hopefully I'll get it sorted then. Um, that money was just a bit of a bonus really um, so I could like cover extra gas and it's not like I was depending on it it was just nice to have to save as a backup if anything went wrong um, so I hadn't put that into my budget so it won't affect it um, but uh, I'm just hoping that that's not tax it might be tax and that's why I've only got £80 um, because I'm self-employed that is classed as my second job so they tax you through the eyeballs oh, um, because the month before I got a wage I haven't had a wage slip that's what if I have a wage slip I'll be fine so I had a wage slip from the month before and wow the tax they took off me was a lot a lot so I don't know I don't know and then um, you know uh, they will work it all out and I will get a refund in the tax year in April. So it's not a problem, um, I just have to wait a little bit and they'll see then um, how much I've earned and they'll like, hopefully they'll give me a rebate in April so that would be nice. Yay, so it's all coming together. I love this card. Thank you so much. How gorgeous is that? Handmade card, so clever. Wow, little Robin. Hey! Oh, and I got, got a lovely letter as well. 
Ah, oh, thank you so much. That's really cheered me up. Yay! <laughs> On the other note, I have got so much sorting to do. I have been just sorting through everything, getting rid of stuff, just getting rid of it. When the um, painter and decorator came to give a quote, he was like, all this, he wasn't very nice at all. And it did make me panic a little bit because I was thinking, oh gosh, I'm going to have to move everything, everything. And I thought, why am I moving stuff from one room to the next? I'm going to sort through it, chuck it, recycle it, give it away. And um, I can't remember where I got this idea from, but it was somebody's idea. And they said, if you haven't used it in the past six months, or if you hold it for longer than, say, 15 seconds, and it doesn't automatically, you go, oh, keep, then get rid of it. Get rid of it. And so I'm kind of doing that. Um, I'm having to do it when my son's not around because he's really bad at not wanting to throw stuff away. He's getting loads better. Um, and I talk him around. Um, it's just really hard at the moment because he's very, very emotional after COVID and oh, anyway, yeah, so I've been having a good sort out. I've got boxes on the floor here and one is for hard plastic and one is for metal. We have a scrap man that come around um, and they collect metal and so I might just leave that outside and see if they come. Um, somebody's put a couple of things in this, I've got two skips outside ready for the roofers and somebody's put a couple of things in there but they're metal so I'm hoping again when the scrap men come around they will take them away and um, it's just like old tins and stuff like that, I don't use them, they're just that they're looking pretty, um, I've kept one cake tin um, to put cakes in, I don't need them, get rid of them, recycle them, at our tip there is a pop-up shop I think they call it like a pop-up shop and you can take stuff there and donate it it's like an outdoor charity shop and um, you can just go and take stuff there and they take it and then they sell it on or give it away for free I think um, for people that need it so that's really handy so I'm going to take a load of stuff down there as well oh, so, oh it just feels good doesn't it to get rid of stuff so um, I've been having a think now and oh, just about money, all the time I think about money, what I do to help me so then that it might help somebody else as well. So January seems a really long month. I was thinking if I depended on those wages and they were short for whatever reason, um, and another thing is January seems really, really long because people... I don't know if this is all over the world. For Christmas, um, sometimes we are paid a week early, so then we have time to go and get presents and gifts or anything um, to help us through Christmas. And so then, instead of our wages being a month, it's actually like five, six weeks before we get paid again. What I tend to do, and it's something I've always done, so one way you can get around this is when you do your first weekly shop is that you get it for like two weeks so then you've got food left over for the last week when you know you've got no money left or you try and prepare yourself to make extra meals. I do this all the time um, and it's not just for January. Um, but I want to use my slow cooker as well, my new one, the three one, and I thought, oh, this would be perfect. So I do batch cooking, I get ready for my son going back to school. If we're ill, to save money for when my son goes back to school, I've got this food in the freezer. But I thought I'd cook these three meals today, and they are super, super cheap. So if I do the three meals, then that would last us... A week if you're on your own it would last you a week definitely because you could have like one meal two or three times they're not expensive to buy you can buy them say with your first week's worth of shopping 
Um, so then you've got that shopping to last you at the end of the month, if that makes sense. Right then, so there's three dishes I'm going to do because I've got three slow cooker recipes. Um, I am going to do a biryani when I go up to Manchester to see family. It doesn't happen all the time, just like on special occasions. When we're up there for special occasions, um, we get an Indian takeaway. And I always have a dish called a biryani. Oh, it is so good. And um, basically, you can add whatever you want to it and you can have it with whatever. But the basic thing is, it's a rice dish. And you can have it with vegetables or meat. And then where we get it from, um, it's called the purple pakora. Oh, love it. It's served with like an omelette and a curry sauce on the side as well. Um, so I have this biryani with vegetables, you can have it with chicken, lamb, fish, um, and it's just a really, really cheap filling meal. Oh, and I love it because you can add so much to it, but you can make it really simple and it's just really tasty. Um, I find when stuff is tasty, you don't feel like you're going without and then you don't feel hungry later, you actually feel like you've had a meal. Um, so that's one. We're going to do a vegetable pasta um, because that's really cheap. Everybody's all got pasta and that monkey veg at the end of the month lurking around. That's great. And we're also going to do a vegetable stew and um, I'll do some cornbread or some... Um, I've had some bread with the go puff delivery the other day, which was rubbish. Um, but we're not going to mention that because we're in a good mood and I'm waiting to hear back from them. Um, and so it with some bread and again, really cheap filling food. Oh, lovely. Right. So I've got all my ingredients out now of what I'm going to use. If you hear a noise, it is my son playing Lego. He's scratching through his Lego like a hen looking for pieces. <laughs> right then, so my uh, vegetable pasta. <clears throat> I'm going to use penne because that is the cheapest pasta you can get at the moment, unless you can get on offer. Um, I've got some garlic paste here. Um, I've had this a while actually. I think it says you need to chuck it after three months. Four weeks. Oh, it's been open way more than four weeks, but it's still good. It's fine. Um, I also have, oh, I think I've only got like three bulbs left from my allotment. But got some garlic paste, I've got some peeled plum potato, uh, pot potatoes, peeled plum tomatoes, which I'm just going to chop up a little bit, because um, I just don't want big chunks of tomato in there, well, big whole tomatoes in there, I'm just going to mash it up. You can use um, chopped tomatoes, but these are the ones that I've got and need using first. Have they gone out? Oh yeah, they went out a day in September 2022, but they will be absolutely fine, so I'm going to use that. I've got some tomato puree, I've got some mixed herbs for the veg, I'm going to use carrots, um, these shallots, some frozen peas, um, I've got parsnip, I'm not going to put parsnip in it, I'll probably just put carrots and peas in it, but you can put any veg you want to in it. Then I've got the stuff for the biryani, now I'm going to use basmati rice and I have this just to make biryani. Now it's really nice with normal rice, but it's just that little bit extra special with basmati rice. So I'm gonna use that. Um, if you look for any um, biryani recipes, you need like some herbs and spices. Um, but I just use a curry powder mild and it's got all the stuff in it that you need anyway to put and you can add stuff if you've got it in the cupboard you can add stuff but um, if you have to buy everything just buy one of these mixes that has it all in um, I also got some bay leaves now I was given these um, from the food pantry I got these in the food pantry so I'm going to use two bay leaves I've got some shallots I'm going to use some peas I've got some spring onions to garnish it with yeah that's the basic biryani 
that I'm going to use uh, peas, onions, shallots, powder, curry powder and basmati. I could also put some of this in it if I wanted to. And then the vegetable stew, this would be really good with swede in it, but I haven't got any, we've used it all. Um, so I've got some peas, broccoli, because I've got about five of these that I need to eat from Go Puff bag. Um, I've got some carrots, stock cube. Oh, I need some stock cube for the other dishes as well. Um, and I've got some parsnips that are desperate to need using, but you can use any veg you want. I've also got some sweet potato and some butternut squash. Um, I might add them. We'll see how I go, how full my pot is after these. Because I've got to remember, my, my slow cooker pots are only small. And you can do these in dishes and you just use one dish for your pasta, another dish for this and another dish for your stew but you don't need like a load of dishes just to cook one dish you can chuck it all in one but I'm going to use my slow cooker because that's what I have okay I think I'm ready I've got everything chopped up and put into oh what was that pea runaway pea um, for my dishes. Now the only thing I am going to cook before I put it in the slow cooker is, is the onion um, for the biryani and I'm going to fry them in some butter and the curry powder before I put them in there because I, I just want to like caramelise the onions. I say onions, use onions but I've got shallots um, but caramelise them before you put them in and oh, just taste it amazing and also um, fry the herbs and spices slightly to bring that aroma out of them. Now I like to use um, a little bit of butter to fry my onions in, you can use oil or anything you want, you can even do it in um, what you call it, uh, with a little bit of uh, water. But, oh, this just makes it so good. And I've got the onions and the carrots here. Um, oh, I'm going to put some carrots in it as well. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to fry them. Up. Um, now then, you just need to add the herbs and you can add as much or as little as you like and like I said, you can buy it like this or you can buy them, if you've got them individually, just put in what you want and I'm going to do two teaspoons, good heap sized teaspoons. Right, so I'm going to get on with the rest of it. So in here, I've got nearly a litre of um, boiling water and I've got three veg uh, chicken stock cubes in here because I've got three dishes on the go. So first one we're going to do, we're going to do the pasta. and measuring stuff and probably put enough pasta in for like a third of the slow cooker part I'm going to put some peas in some carrots in three good handfuls in there I want to put these tomatoes in. Chop them up roughly. Put that in. We want a teaspoon of garlic paste. Some mixed herbs. And tomato puree. And then we're going to 
top it up with some chicken stock. Oh, it smells so good in here, guys. Right, I've added a bit of chicken stock to that. Um, I chucked it everywhere, typical. Um, I'm going to put that on high. Okay, so the biryani now, um, the onions are still frying. I'm just going to put some frozen peas in there ready. And next we're going to do the vegetable stew. So leftover peas. And this, I found the smaller the veg, um, the quicker they cook in slow cookers because the vegetables, gosh, they take so long to cook. I've got parsnips in here. one jug, a uh, plastic jug, and it's got pancake mix in the fridge, so I borrowed this glass one from my dad, and um, it's, it's not very good. Put the lid on that, put that on high. I've got some broccoli and carrots left over. So I've just added 210 grams of uh, basmati rice in this um, to this biryani. Um, it's 70 grams a portion and, and I've put in three portions. I do measure my rice so I know how much water to add. So I want roughly one and a half times uh, uh, the amount of liquid. So 210. So that would be around 315 grams of stock or water. And there we go, the onions and carrots and spices are all done. I'm just going to add them in here. Smells so good. Okay, so I need to add my bay leaves. And I absolutely love cardamom, love it. So I put extra in. So I've got three cardamom pods, these are them. And um, I just poke little holes in them with a knife and I leave them whole like that um, because when this is cooked they will float to the top and you can pick them out. You don't want to be eating them like this. It doesn't, you may, but um, I, d I love cardamom, but not eating them like that. Yeah, so they just float to the top if you leave them like that. Same with the bay leaves. So here we go guys. Now then, if I had one thing, just one thing to moan about, and this is not just about this slow cooker, it's about every slow cooker. Is the wires, the lead, are really short. They're terrible. So this is the only place really that I can put it, that I can get it to a plug. Because everywhere else, I can't reach it to get to a plug. Crazy. I don't know why they make them so short. So here we have the vegetable tomato pasta dish. The biryani again vegetable and a vegetable stew right I'm just going to leave these now to do their own thing um, I haven't put meat in any of them you absolutely you can add meat to any of these um, I'm just making it as cheap as possible because meat's expensive, isn't it? Everything's expensive at the moment, but meat, whew. Anyway, but in the biryani, you wouldn't have to use that much meat. Our neighbours uh, make like a lamb biryani for us all the time. I think it's lamb. It looks like lamb. Um, but it's got the bones in. They use the cheap lamb chops. Are they called chump chops or something with the weird looking bones in them? They're not like a lamb chop bone. Um, and they use them and literally we probably get one lamb chop but it breaks up you know when they leave the bone in there for taste and oh it's absolutely gorgeous and it's really filling you don't feel like you're missing out on me and and you don't need to use that much so that's great but this is just perfect for like if you're really really skin 
if you're trying to watch um, the pennies and just not spend as much on food these are really healthy as well if you're thinking of getting a little bit healthy and watching what you eat or watching your weight you know these are perfect as well with the biryani you can add raisins as well um, but my son doesn't like them so I don't put them in if it was just for me I absolutely would because I love raisins I can't wait it smells so good in here it smells so good and um, my son keeps on asking is it ready yet is it ready yet <laughs> nope <laughs> right then okay so I will be back later when these are done Okay, so me and my son have just got back from the allotment. <coughs> Good job, really. It's gone really dark all of a sudden. Um, so that will be in the next video. I will show you that. Um, the rice, the biryani is done. I've just taken the two bay leaves out. I can only find two cardamom pods. There is another one in there somewhere. Um, so I have to keep an eye out for that. The pasta is looking really good as well. That is done. And then the vegetable stew is still cooking. But that's fine, there's a lot of chunky veg in this one, so I knew this one would take a bit longer. So here we go, this is the vegetable pasta and the biryani. It's gone a bit green, I think that's because of the peas, and a little bit of rice at the bottom went a bit mushy. I could have taken this out maybe before I went to the allotment but never mind it's still going to taste really really good um, and look at the sizes guys these are those huge massive pasta dishes so even though those little um, slow cookers are tiny they certainly hold a load of food loads yeah and one of these dishes would feed the three of us so if you're on your own, this is like nine meals, so you'd have plenty for dinner and some lunches as well. And you can add stuff to it, but garlic bread with this maybe. Um, I am going to add something to this. I am going to add some egg and um, some curry sauce. Um, with this one it'd be really nice with some cheese my son doesn't like cheese but I have got some parmesan cheese which I'm going to put on top because he can't even tell he can't see the stringiness or anything of that and if he asks I just say it's garlic salt or garlic granules and he's none the wiser so this is my son's he decided to have biryani and I've done some curry sauce with it as well and you know these are not small portions these are good sized portions um, my my son has a really good appetite on him most of the time um, and there's loads left and I'm going to have some of this as well oh sorry guys thought I recorded that but I just realised I haven't so I've just made uh, a two egg omelette to go with my biryani and rice my son's got his I've got curry sauce and I just when we go to Manchester and we have this takeaway, it is just absolutely gorgeous. It is so filling. Look at all that food. And it's cost me pennies to make and it's so filling. And I know it seems to have, like a bit strange to have egg with a curry, but oh, it works so well. And um, I'm not sure if it, the way I make this omelette, it's really, really thin. I make it like a pancake or a wrap. So you could use this egg instead of bread maybe, instead of having a naan bread. And you could eat the curry and the sauce with the egg. Oh, it is so good, so good. Right then, so I am going to scoff this. My son is already scoffing his. Um, the stew is still cooking. It will take maybe another hour um, because there's a lot of veg in it. And like I said, veg takes ages in the slow cooker. Um, but I have got loads left over so there's a good three portions of pasta um, that we can either have lunch or dinner tomorrow if not I will stick it in the freezer portion it there I've got half a bowl of rice here left so that's enough for me and my son um, to have more or um, have it tomorrow or put it in the freezer oh, I can't wait to eat this now Right, so take care and I will see you soon. Bye.